Well, meanwhile, our government is projecting almost 7 billion CDs in revenue from the tax on electronic transactions or e levy by the end of next year. Here's Deputy Minister of Finance, Dr. John Kuma. The more important reason why we must all accept this e tax or e levy is its outreach to almost everybody in mm. the country. Mm. People say, oh, expand the tax net, let everybody be part so that we can spread. But the number has not improved, Doc. Because Which we number? See the number of total no, this, persons this, who are paying tax. No, no, this was, Unless it has not this been is published 2022. yet. 2022. Okay. I mean, this will take effect in 2022. Okay. Another step that we have taken mm. is when we uh, replaced 10 numbers in Ghana, mm. which was about 4.6% of the population, with a Ghana card it immediately shot it to about 86%. Okay, mm -hmm. so now uh, the potential taxpayers in Ghana, as far as visibility to the law is concerned, is about 86%. Mm -hmm. So we now have to make sure all professionals, people who have not been paying their taxes, you'll be there and you receive a letter, a love letter from the race mm -hmm. team that you are estimated to pay this uh, income tax, but you have not, and so, come and show cause why you should not pay. Mm. So all those programs have been put in place mm. and it is part of the 2020 measures for enforcement. Mm. Okay. So it's not just about the year tax, but we are doing a number of compliance uh, uh, engagements to ensure that we are able to rake in more revenues. And one good thing that happened in this budget mm. is that we took away about five different taxes yeah. from people.